If you've been with us on the channel for a while, you know that we originally planned to go up to Niagara Falls last year. Yeah. About this time, start heading toward that toward, way. Yeah. However, the Rona got us, and we didn't get to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're backtracking across some of the areas that we would have traveled through yeah. had we stayed on course. Mm -hmm like right along the Gulf Coast. Yeah. And you know, part of the whole process is not only seeing some of the places that we missed, but seeing some of the people, people that we missed, missed yeah. also. And some of those people are now meeting back up with us, uh -huh. camping right next to us, and they got a new, to them, yes. RV. Yes, they did. <laughs> and we're gonna go check her out. We're gonna go show you the <laughs> RV and show you who we're talking about. What y'all want? <laughs> Is y'all from the bank? Paul said I was to shoot anybody from the bank. We're here to repo your new <laughs> RV. <laughs> Come on in. That's hilarious. Hey, look who it is. Right in the middle of cooking lumpia. Oh, lumpia. Uh, lumpia. Okay. Wow, fancy digs you got here. There's Miss Barbara and Rick. Bigger than Matilda G. How y'all doing? Hey, look who we're watching. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so funny. There we go. It's not bad at all. I mean, this is open. Very like open. That. That's wow. really why. Drew. Compared to ours, yeah. Compared yeah. to the We had one. no slides, so this really maybe. Yeah. yeah. And this However, is where the desk is going to go if we can ever find, find one. one. Yeah. We'll go right there. Right here. <laughs> yeah, what else we got back here? This is the fridge, pantry area. Oh, very nice. A lot more room back here oh, yeah, for the kids, uh, for the bathroom big. areas. Yeah. I mean, you've got the separate oh, wow. toilet area. Oh, that's good. So, you know, you can... somebody can still go to the bathroom while somebody's showering. Yeah. Yeah. Bedroom. A little, a little privacy. Yeah. Little yeah. Privacy. <laughs> the bedroom's probably my biggest disappointment. Yeah. Because the bed orientation takes yeah, out a lot that, of storage. It does, yeah. yeah. That's the only real thing. Now, the bed itself is wonderful. Yeah, we like the uh, this is east unique. west facing. Oh, Ricky put that up for me. And wow. It, when we travel, it can flip up flip and, then and locks up. And locks up. Wow. I think this mm. was. And the, the vines. It was the little uh, stencils. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the previous owner put bugs everywhere. There's these little oh. bugs. They're like 3D uh, yeah. bugs, too. They yeah, are. They are. Yeah, and when funny. I first got in here, I took my hat and I you tried to knock one? them off. Them. Especially since they gave us awesome. a fly swatter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you can just swat these little guys. And there's, there's where's the ladybug? Oh, there's bug? a little one right here. Oh, yeah, there, look over here. Look yeah. over there. There's a ladybug right there. Got a ladybug oh, wow, right we got there. the ladybug. That is so funny. <laughs> That's just random. It is. But, you know, they felt it was their little touch, though. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Though. It was her little touch. And, and uh, that's so funny, though. I like that is it. nice. <laughs> Today, we're at the Heritage Park and Cultural Center in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Yep. I have no idea what's here. <laughs> what? There's a, uh, a mound. An Indian temple mound. Indian temple mound, which is now, like, considered sacred ground, I guess. Yeah. One of the largest earthworks in Florida, and one of the largest ever constructed on uh, like saltwater area yeah. because it's not stable ground. Yeah. And usually they deteriorate really easily. But there's some other cool stuff here. There's an old schoolhouse. Yes. And like set up to like old school. <laughs> See what I did there? I said it. Uh, old school. Yeah. <laughs> Fort Walton Beach. A uh, little post office museum and like a little replica post office. And then all the stuff and history and information about the mound mm. is in another little museum. So we'll take you through all yes. that cool stuff. And uh, we're hanging out today with Ricky and Barbara from RV Underway, and they'll be hanging out with us. And so you'll probably see them in some of the shots too. Um, do we know anything else about this place? It's old. We're gonna learn as we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's old. It's old. We'll take your questions. <laughs>
Well, now we're at the Fort Walton Beach Schoolhouse. This was the schoolhouse from 1912 to 1936. Camp Walton. At Camp yeah. Walton. And this is crazy. We've already been in, but we're getting ready to take you in. Grades one through eight. eight. In one room. One teacher. One room. Eight grades. Yeah. This is basically your, like your whole elementary, middle school a in one teacher. room. Yeah. And she had to teach it all. Well, we were just going to come hang out at the beach and take in the scenery, but then uh, Barbara saw a sign for frozen <laughs> drinks <laughs> and twisted our arms. Yeah, twisted. It was hard. And yeah. here we are. It was a hard sell. <laughs> buying drinks on the beach. It's rough. Yeah. It's it's rough, rough life. life. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> All right, let's see what everybody's got. Ricky's got. Hi there. A uh, dozen on the half shell. <laughs> Mollusk, <laughs> oh. better known as oysters. Yeah. Love them. I got me the frozen margarita, and we got some cheese sticks because Leslie is a lightweight, and she needs something to soak up the alcohol with. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what kind of drink you got there? I got a strawberry daiquiri. Mm. What you got, Miss Barbara? I forgot what it was called. <laughs> I just bought it for some the... kind of alcoholic punch. Yes. Crab trap. Yes, the oh, crab, crab, crab trap punch. punch. Mm -hmm. Looks nice though. It's very, very fruity. Very, very fruity. Mm -hmm. Today we're at the Harbor Walk Village yeah. in Destin, Florida. It's a beautiful day. It's awesome. It's 75, gorgeous. sunny. We did the Four Wall and Beach side of things. Yeah. And now we're venturing over to, uh, to the Destin side before we have to bug out and head west. Yes. Uh, we have no idea what's out here. Nope. Uh, Looks cool. It says, you know, restaurants and shops. So, yeah. so we'll see what all we can get into out here. Bars and music. And you had me at bars. <laughs> Concentrating on the on the fish down there too. stuff to do yeah. you could spend all day days yeah here yeah doing stuff dolphin tours snorkel scuba fishing fish. bars, bars restaurants yeah bird watching people watching, people watching. <laughs> boat, yeah, the, the, boat watching yeah <laughs> the uh, the pelicans they're just zooming around here man they are so funny yeah 
pterodactyls of the sea. It's so fun they to watch so them. fun. <laughs> <laughs> one just flew right over our head. I don't know if you see the shadow of it. One's going to crap but, on me. I'm just going <laughs> to... But anyway, if you're in the Destin area, you definitely have to come out here to the Harbor yeah. Walk. The have a drink. Yeah. Walk the, the Harbor. Do a little shopping. Yeah. Uh, just a great way to, to kill a day. Yeah. Uh, we didn't do hardly any of the stuff, didn't spend a bunch of money. Nope. So it's a good way just to come out and just kill a day and yeah. have a little bit of fun. Yep. Today we are at the Fort Walton Beach Repticon. Yes. Ha! Huh. Repticon's a reptile show and it's actually the same brand of reptile show that we got Scout from. Yes. In Atlanta. Because mm -hmm. Repticon is a traveling reptile show. So it just so happened that while we we're here in the Destin Four on Beach area, they're having Repticon. Yeah. But we'll take you along with us so you mm -hmm. can see what a Repticon is like. And yeah. we'll leave a link in the description below to Repticon so that you can check and see if Repticon is going to be somewhere near you. Because it's mm -hmm. worth, you know, a few dollars to something to do for the day and uh, cool different animals to see. Yeah. And you can hold a lot of them too. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's trying to hide. He's scared cat. He is hiding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got himself all wrapped up. Face is in there. He's tying himself in a knot down here. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> he senses I want nothing to do with him. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> We had a lot of fun at Repticon. It was yeah. not as big as we thought uh, oh, no. it would be. We knew it would be small, but it was even smaller than we thought it would oh, be. Oh, yeah. It was probably less yeah. than a quarter of the size of the one in Atlanta. Yeah. The one that we bought a scout at. Mm -hmm. But still very cool. Lots of cool little critters. Yeah. And we get good deals on stuff. What do we get? Okay. First, we're going to replace his UV bulb in his tank. Yeah. His bar bulb, which should be replaced every six months. Yeah, because bearded dragons are in captivity. Yeah. They don't get as much sunlight as they need, so they have to have that um, that fabricated uh, sunlight yeah. in the UV. And then over the couch, you got to replace those lights every six months. Yeah, where his lights dangle too. down over the couch. He, he, because he has his heat lamps and his UV in his habitat, which he mostly just sleeps in, most yeah. of his time is spent out here, so yeah. we have to have heat and UV out here for him as well. And while his are still good, you got to be prepared for when they decide to just pop, pop, and go bad. So stocked up on bulbs for those too. Then got him a new piece of wood for inside his habitat. And I know you're thinking, can't you just go grab a piece of wood from the woods? No. no. <laughs> 
Don't you do cannot. that. You cannot. They are. I mean, you can. Yeah. But there's a lengthy process to make that safe for them to have. Yes, because there are lots of parasites and bacteria in that wood, so it's a process. It's like a four-step, several day, almost a week-long no, process. No, it's actually a little over a week process to to clean to bleach wood and then rinse wood from bleach. You have to like submerge it for days and then change the water, submerge it again to get all that bleach out. Such a pain in the butt to do. Yeah, so normally a piece of wood like this in the pet shop would be 30 to 40 bucks. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. And this guy was what? $13. 13 bucks for yeah. a piece of wood. I know you think that's crazy, but to not have to go through the whole process of it and to have one that's already good and safe. Ready to go worth it and we're gonna so show you what we're gonna do with this stuff and we had to get a wide piece because he's a wide he's wide beard. he's wide body <laughs> <laughs> then we got him a new hide yes of course which i gotta clean it yeah very lightweight yeah three entrance ways into this thing yeah he's gonna love this so he can either hide or he can bask on top of it yeah and we'll show you where we're gonna put that too this is gonna go inside of his habitat along with the other piece of yeah, wood it's gonna really replace gonna like a couple of things that we have up there and then his favorite his favorite Food. worms so and we got a good deal on that so all yeah, in all we like save a ton of money by going to repticon so if you have a reptile traveling with a reptile going to repticon is worth it yeah just to get the savings and all the stuff that you can get there mm -hmm. and the bonus is you can just see all the little curse yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll show you the before and after on all this stuff that we're getting ready to, all this, the, the wood and the hides that we're getting ready to put into his habitat. We want you to see what it looks like now and then what it's going to look like once it's we get like those It's like Christmas for Scout today. Man, he made out. Hey, he did. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And um, we had fun in the process. We did. Yeah. So that's it for Repticon. Yeah. Um, we'll show you the habitat real quick. And then like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to learn about all the ways that you can help us help veterans everything you need to know is in the description of this video these are the super worms and they are wiggly scout's gonna enjoy his yep. yeah you like it when we got repticon huh <laughs> yeah mm. <laughs> yummies these are yummies he's a big one Get this guy out. Yeah. Ah, hardly <laughs> hit the thing. This is the inside of Scout's habitat. Uh, you can see out here. This is the how we get into it. There's three doors, and you get in here. And so we've kind of put together a few things in here. He likes this log right here, but this is where we're going to put that log that has the uh, three entrances that made out of cork, uh, so he can go in this way or in this way or straight in the front and uh, this one really wasn't big enough for him to crawl into so we put these here to block it because he'll get in there and he'll get stuck so now we got the bigger cork one that we're going to replace that with so that he can go inside of it or on top of it and then over here we have these three pieces of birch that we have tied together with a piece of twine but um, that birch he can't really grip onto it very well it's pretty slippery and he can't get his claws into it and so that's where we're going to put that new log that we got. And we'll see how this uh, new setup works out. Here's the after. Those bamboo things were rolled up onto that side before. Now they just kind of stood up there to help block some of the cords. But there is the three entry cork piece that we have. So now he can go in this side or he can go in front or he can go the other side and crawl all the way through. And then over here the ramp was over on the other side. Elevated by the bamboos that were rolled up. But now we have this, so you see we've gotten rid of the birch, and he has this little wood plank up here. So this is the hot side. On this side of the tank, it's about 105 degrees, which he likes the heat. And then on this side is considered the cold side, and it's about 80 to 85 degrees. And then when he goes to bed, the lights go off, and he gets down to whatever room temperature is in the RV. We're going to do a whole video on Scout and tell you all about all these details about what it's like living with a reptile full-time in an RV. That episode's coming up very soon. Smell everything? We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.